Hi everybody, welcome to this Unreal Engine basic tutorial that will show you how to use the destroy actor node and mouse interactions together to create a really simple in-game element, uh, basics of an in-game mechanic for a video game that uses the mouse as its main controller. So in my previous video, my previous tutorial video, I showed some of the basics of mouse cursor mechanics or using mouse cursor in Unreal Engine. I'm going to go through that here again, but we're going to add an additional level to all of that, which will be the destroy actor node. So I know that all of this sounds really fancy, but it will boil down to super simple concepts, which will include me using the mouse cursor to actually interact with a static mesh, the sphere in this case, which will be destroyed once I click on it. And the cursor pre prior to that will change to a different type of cursor indicating that this can be done. So before we get into the destroying part, let's see the, the cursor part once again. And we'll see that in blueprints with the sphere selected, I'm going to go open level blueprint, which is already docked here. And you can see this is the basic setup which allows me to change how my cursor adapts and behaves once I first put the cursor on the same sphere, so simply hover it on begin cursor over, it will transform itself to a hand cursor and then end once I leave the same domain with the mouse over process, it will go back to its default value. So let's see how does that look in the game itself. Here it is. So you can see once I hover over the sphere, it's a hand cursor. Once I move away, it's back to the regular pointer. Now we want to keep that, but we also want to add a function of destroying this mesh, this material mesh by clicking on it. And that's super simple even though that is actually the basics of a simple game. We'll do that by again having select or keeping the selected sphere here. It's a material sphere, a static mesh actor. And we're going to do it by adding, I'm going to close this to make it more visible, by adding an on-clicked event. So you can see it's in the mouse input add on clicked and we have the note that says that once the clicked material sphere is clicked something should happen now that something part should be destroy actor and here it is under utilities it's a function uh, which is destroy actor and it's really simple it basically destroys the actor that is selected, in this case, a material sphere. And we only need to connect it to the touched actor, like this. And this is the cycle that will destroy the sphere once it is clicked. The only thing that we need to change here, I mean, it's optional, but we want to do it to make it even more clear, is to change the current Mars cursor on begin cursor over to not hand but crosshairs so let's imagine that this is a kind of an enemy in a really simple really basic game when it comes in it's going to be static actually the cursor goes to crosshairs once it's on the target and once it's clicked the sphere disappears or in the blueprint it means that the sphere is destroyed the actor is destroyed and the actor is the material sphere. So we're going to compile, we're going to save, and we're going to go back to the example. And we need to check two things. First, does the cursor change once it hovers over the target? And secondly, once it's clicked, does it disappear as it should? So let's give it a try. So we're in the game, and as you can see, it's changing to the crosshair it's hovering and the crosshair is here. I leave it and it's back to default cursor. And now let's see that mouse interaction on clicked. And there it is. The sphere is destroyed. So that is the basics to the use of 
on-clicked destroy actor and more precisely speaking on the whole mechanic of using mouse interactions to employ the destroy actor node then the same object in game is destroyed and yes it's a basics for the use of a lot of mechanics in games where anything and everything from enemies to obstacles to in-game environmental objects can be destroyed through a kind of a combat or some other interaction, some other gameplay mechanic that uses this principle. This is the end of this short and simple tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. It's really basic, it's really elementary, but in my view it's not a bad way to kind of showcase the same process of mouse interactivity and gradually building upon the same interactivity through a few simple steps. My name is Ivica, hopefully you found this tutorial interesting and somewhat useful. If you did, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you have a moment or two and uh, you can spare that click. And I'll be seeing you on my next Unreal Engine tutorial clip. Until then, have a great day and have loads of fun in your Unreal project. Bye bye.